quilty friends, I'm Natalia Bonner. Today is day 55 and I'll be stitching with my four-in-one machine quilting ruler. Let's get stitching! I'll begin this super cute heart block by adding a few markings. Along the top side of the block, I'll find the center of the block and then measure over one inch from the center. I'll place two markings one inch on each side from the center. Along the bottom of the block, I will find the center point and mark that. The next markings that I will add, I will measure two inches down from the top corners along the sides of the block and make a straight marked line right there through the center of the block. I'll begin stitching at the top of the block. From there, I will stitch along that previous marked line, stitching a straight point to point line, creating the top section of the heart. After I've created the top section, then I will work my way across the block, stitching all the way around that heart very first. After I've stitched my heart, then I'm going to go through and add echoing to the outside of the heart just to make the inside really be the feature that pops. To keep my lines a half an inch apart, you'll notice as I'm stitching, I'm lining the first marked line on my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler up right on top of my previous stitch line. I'll travel along the ditch to adjust my spacing and keep it half an inch apart as I move my way to the outsides of the blocks. After I've completed the machine quilting, I'll spritz away those marked lines, stitch in the ditch, and I've got a beautiful design. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow.